Hi you guys, I'm Leanne and I'll be your instructor for your lesson today. We're really excited about today's lesson and we think you're going to love it. As always, make sure that you guys are working on the map that's provided in the box when you're working on your table. Make sure that you put your name on your project legibly because there's going to be a lot of you guys coming in and bringing stuff to us. So we want to make sure that we know who's is who's. And lastly, make sure that you clean up really well after each lesson. A bucket of water and a sponge and just a quick wipe down the mat. Should be all you need. All right, we're excited. Let's get started. Okay, you guys, today we are going to be making this cute dragonfly on a leaf. Your materials you're going to need today are your cutting tool, a fork, a sponge, your dragonfly template for the wings, a leaf, and textures from the backyard. So we'll talk about those later if you guys didn't already get those. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is, ta-da, I need you guys to go outside and find a leaf. It's springtime, it's a perfect time to kind of incorporate natural objects into our lessons, as well as using them for templates and using them for texture. So I'm gonna have you guys go outside and I need you to find a leaf. We're building a dragonfly that's sitting on top of this leaf, so we don't want anything that's too small. See if you can't find a pretty healthy sized leaf when you go outside. Also, when you're out there, go ahead and find some textures that you think would be interesting to press into the clay. I found a pine cone in my backyard. I also found this rock that was kind of interesting. And then also, I had a stick, but we'll just kind of go, we'll use a leaf with a stem, a stick, that I think that will be kind of interesting to create some textures. All right, when you get back inside, I'm gonna have you guys take your leaf and you're gonna lay it kind of in the corner. We don't wanna go right in the center of the slab because then we're gonna be using, we're not gonna have much to work with. So we're going to use it kind of in the corner and try to make the best use of our space. And I'm going to press this leaf in to the clay, starting at the bottom and moving to the top, getting that middle section in. And then I'm going to take my fingers and I'm just going to kind of rub on this leaf and pressing, pressing to get it really to and press down into the piece of clay to transfer the texture of the leaf into my clay. Next, I'm gonna take my cutting tool and with my leaf still in, I'm gonna cut around my leaf shape. Now, so you guys have a stem on your leaf when you get to here, please leave that just a little bit thicker. So it seems like we're going way on the outside of that, but we wanna make sure that we leave that thick because if it gets too thin, it could break off. We're going to come around here, moving around so I don't have to go exactly right onto the leaf. I'm allowing for just a little bit on that edge to make it easier for you guys. Now I'm going to roll back this clay and take the excess away, leaving it still in the slab form. I'm just going to set it to the side. Okay. I'm going to take off my leaf and ta-da! See if you guys really kind of rubbed it in, you should see a really nice hard impression of that leaf. If you feel like you didn't press too hard into it and you're like, well, I'm not too happy with the way that this transferred, you can always come back in, relay your leaf down and press down a little bit harder too. Clay's pretty forgiving with that, you guys. Okay, we're gonna peel this up just very gently and stick it to the side over here, and we're gonna start working on our dragon. Taking back my excess clay from earlier, I'm gonna take some of these flatter pieces here, and I'm gonna take my dragonfly wing template and go ahead and cut them out. Scissors are not included in these boxes. I think it's the only thing that's not included, you guys, so just make sure that you're using some scissors from the house that are approved by your parents. Okay, and I already have two of them ready. So in total, I need four leaves for my dragonfly, or I'm sorry, four wings for my dragonfly. So I'm gonna come in here and come around this template to guide me. Take to the 
side. Oopsies, there's a little excess left there. Come here. This is why it's important when you guys get done with your leaf that you keep this that clay flat in that slab form so you can use the extra scraps for your dragonfly. There. Now you guys could use all the same size if you'd like, but I gave you guys two varieties if you would like to have larger and smaller lobes on the wings. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna have one large and one small on each side. four little wings right there. I'm going to take this scrap and I'm just going to ball it up into my hands. I'm just kind of pressing it together to make sure we get it all back together again and kind of try to get some of those air bubbles out. Now I'm just going to take a portion of this and kind of squeeze it into my hands and elongate it into kind of a nice long tube. I'm going to take it onto the mat and I'm going to start rolling out this clay into a coil. So I'm starting in the center here and I'm rolling and moving to that outside edge. Again, I'm gonna start in the center and I'm gonna roll it to that outside edge. And I'm just kind of rolling it so it's nice and smooth because this is gonna be the middle of our dragonfly body. So I wanna get down to about the thickness of my thumb is what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go just a little thinner here. I'm gonna come in. I get done. About the thickness of my thumb seems like a pretty good body size. You guys can use your cutting tool and kind of cut it down into a size that seems like an okay thing in size for you. Next we are going to take our tool and we're going to score anywhere where you guys want your dragonfly to land on that leaf. I'm going to score and I'm going to slip. So remember, whenever you put two pieces of clay together, you always slip and score. And I'm going to press that fatter coil down on to my leaf. And I should see that slip kind of ooze out of that side. When you see that, then you know you've got a pretty nice attachment. Okay. All right. Now we're going to start adding right. our dragonfly wing. So I'm gonna come and I'm gonna score on either side of the leaf here and score on either side of the leaf, both sides. And I'm gonna take my wings and score the back sides too. Remember not to press too hard. You guys have your fork and you don't wanna dig in too much otherwise we can go through the entire wing. So you just wanna kind of apply a nice light pressure so it gets almost a texture of Velcro. Now I'm going to apply slip to the back of my wings. Now we're ready to add our wings to our dragonfly. I'm going to take my two larger ones and I'm going to place them on the top here. So I'm coming here and again I'm pressing down and applying pressure. Same thing here, I'm pressing down and I'm applying pressure. Now I'm gonna take my bottom, I'm coming here, I'm pressing down and applying pressure, and I'm pressing down and applying pressure. <clears throat> Since we had quite a bit of slip, now might be a nice time to kind of just wipe your fingers clean with the sponge. There we go, we've got our dragonfly. I'm gonna move these just a little closer. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our textures that we had from outside. We found outside and we are going to start to texturize our wings to add some visual interest. So I can use my pine cone here, just make sure you kind of hold this wing underneath here. When you come and I can kind of roll it on there, that's gonna kind of give me 
nice interesting texture. I can also use maybe this little rock I found on there. And that's going to allow me to give some kind of interest. It's going to set it off different from the leaf. So I'm moving here, just making sure that you hold your hand underneath this edge of the wing that's not on the clay, that's not resting on the leaf. there looking pretty good okay now we're going to take and now this time you guys can kind of decide if you guys want to add some eyes you can roll these between your fingers you can roll just little bits of clay between your fingers just to make kind of little nice round shapes just remember to score and score and slip when you're attaching here and here I'm gonna add some texture down my dragonfly body. I'm gonna use my cutting tool and I'm just gonna gently kind of rock it all the way down, giving it some lines. Okay, now when I get to the bottom, I'm looking pretty square and sometimes dragonflies have a tail. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze this coil out on the bottom and just elongate it a little bit. So I have that tail. If you happen to lose any of your texture during that time, you can kind of come back and put it in. But that way we've got our dragonfly tail. There we go. And as you, when you finish, make sure that you guys just adhere to the practices of cleaning up, placing this on the board, and make sure your name is on it.